Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. Hello, this is your life boy. Today, I'm enjoying this season of Christmas because so many lights all around. That's just the way it is with Christ, the light of the world. Today is Tuesday, the sixth day of December 2022. We are reading from the Gospel according to St. Mark today in chapter 12. And our reading will be from the 35th verse because we want to learn about wholehearted giving. If you're set, let's go very quickly. As Jesus taught in the temple, he said, How can the scribe say that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, declared, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit on my right hand till I put thy enemies under thy feet. David himself calls him Lord, so how is he his son? And the great throng heard him gladly. And in his teaching he said, Beware of the scribes who like to go about in long robes to have salutations in the markets and the best seats in the synagogues and the places of honor at feasts, who devour widows, houses, and for a pretense make long prayers, they will receive the greater condemnation. And he sat down opposite the treasury and watched the multitude putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums, and a poor widow came in, put in two copper coins, which make a penny. And he called his disciples and said to them, Today I say to you, this poor widow has put in more into the treasury, for they all contributed out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, has put in everything that she had, her whole living. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. You are familiar with this story. The story of the widow who gave the might all that she had. And you can compare that with the story of so many other people mentioned in that same story that we read just now that gave a lot more than that woman gave, but just a little portion of what they had. Wholehearted giving is giving everything that you have. And sometimes it's not about material giving. It's about giving your whole life and making that life meaningful in the kingdom. So, without wasting much time, I want to go straight to the business of asking you to do wholehearted giving, perhaps not of materials this time, but of your life, because that is what is most important to the kingdom. And that is what is most important to me right now. Are you set to give your life to Christ wholeheartedly? And not that today you are in church Tomorrow, you are out there doing all kinds of funny things. I don't want to start mentioning gambling, drinking, uh, alcohol, being with women, and all that. Wholehearted giving is giving your life entirely. And if it has to do with materials too, give not because you want to show the world that you are giving. Give because it's coming from your heart, and that becomes real wholehearted giving. But let me go back to the real business that I'm all about. And that is getting more people to wholeheartedly come into the kingdom. If you are set for that business with me right now, just say this prayer. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now. So I want to be with you wholeheartedly and give my life to you completely. Therefore, forgive me of all the sins of the past and from today. Let me have the grace of living with you 
and given to your work. All my life and my substance I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. If you said that prayer, you need to find a Bible believing church where you can learn the more about wholehearted giving. And I always recommend that if you happen to be in Oshubu, Oshu State, Nigeria, just come straight to the Anglican Church of Oki State Extension. There you will learn the more about wholehearted giving. You can find us for now in the chapel hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High Schools, Oyinko and Gokimibo, the drive of Oki State Extension, Oshubu. Join us every Wednesday, 5 o'clock in the late afternoon for our midweek services, and on Sunday, 10 o'clock in the morning for our regular Sunday services. And as you go out today, say this prayer. Say, Lord, please give me a heart that truly gives of my substance, of my life, of my time, of my connection, of my everything to your kingdom and to your people from today, I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So go out today. Recognize what wholehearted giving is all about. Give of all that you can give to the Lord and his kingdom. And you will be shocked what will come back to you. Because all he asks of you in Matthew 6, 33, is that you seek for the kingdom and give to it. And so many other things will be added unto you. That will be your portion, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I call you faithful, I call you faithful.